Hello! My name is Matthew Batman 1, and today I want to talk about some of the CW DC Universe stuff that happened this week, and some a little bit about these two stuff. The stuff that I've seen, now, not the stuff that's going on probably right now, like probably a Civil War trailer or some Star Wars trailer. I have no idea. Not at this moment. If I post this video after that, then I won't be reviewing it until next week. Okay? So let's get to the DC stuff first. So, a lot of DC stuff that happened this week. Like, Constantine is coming to... is coming to Arrow Season 4, or should we call it Green Arrow now? He'll most likely to appear in one episode. That's pretty good. How the fans want Constantine to go on Arrow or The Flash or whatever come to their universe. Because that universe was separate, now it looks like it's joint. And also, I didn't I've never seen Constantine because it was on Fridays, and I usually watch What Would You Do on Fridays in 2020, but I hope it's on Netflix so I can actually watch it, enjoy it, like how everyone else, like how people like, say it was super good. I want, I know that there's Dr. Fate, not, I remember seeing him on Smallville for like that one special episode. That seems pretty good. Also, there's a poster for Flash Season 2, which I don't show, show you. So the poster is like how in when Barry Allen Flash meets Jay Garrett Flash for the first time, like how like you, see, you saw the poster like they're like going through some other dimension, like dimension stuff, and they see like person saying "Help me, Flash!" and like they're going. So yeah, and that's all our first look at Jay Garrett in the Flash universe. That's pretty cool. See, I don't like how they don't have like a full yellow for this Thunderbolt. How in the comics it's like full yellow. So I haven't talked about that much about the new looks for the Flash and Arrow. Like I like Arrow's new suit. It has it has the it has like the sleeveless stuff like how it how it was in um, Smallville. Like the, the I think Smallville shoulder, I think the Smallville Green Arrow had like these like shoulder pads right here too. Like, like arm pads or whatever. He didn't have shoulder pads. He had arm pads. He didn't have shoulder pads like how he, he does. It looks neat with it. For the, and for the Flash, I like how it has that white spot on it now. Because it, how it is like in the cartoons and the comics. So that's pretty good. Glad to see it more comic book accurate a little bit. Or cartoon accurate for me because I watch the cartoons. I should I should really get going on these comics. Like, it's, I have to find somewhere it's free to read them. Because I could probably go to like a Barnes and Nobles or a comic book shop, but I'll be going there every single time for just to read their comic that they had there and not buying anything, so they might kick me out or whatever. Mm. Uh, it's a lot of work for me. Uh, so I just want to like buy comics like on my, like if I, once I finally get like, if I get, if I get an iPad, it seems a lot, it seems a lot better. Like, when I read on a computer, it's a it's a little like why when I like read on a computer it hurts my eyes for a little bit. Well, I'm like I'm on the computer like every day, like, it doesn't hurt my eyes except for when I read like a, a manga because you know how manga is free on the internet except for comic books. So find a way to get to read co new comic books for free or whatever. If I can't, I'll buy them. So moving so moving on to some the D twenty three stuff that like that was partially like, kind of revealed but, like like or so they showed, they showed off like some of that new Sith Lord or whatever like for like posters or whatever him and they showed um Mark Hamill what he's gonna look like for Luke Skywalker in the new movie like it like show you there you go so yeah it's like his Obi-Wan robe whatever like it's all like gray like almost like no like more like a peach or beige color. Something like that. And he also has a beard. I'm excited to see him now. He's, he's not going to be the new main character, which, eh, we have a new main character. It's probably that girl, whatever. I actually want it to be the girl. I like think when they like, change the gender of it. Leia's daughter and Han's daughter. It makes more sense to like have the new main character like that. She'll also be force sensitive, so that's pretty good. But moving on to Civil War part of the pictures. Like, they show like some some Black Panther and um, Bucky a little bit. Like, he's not in the Winter Soldier you know, He's not in the Winter Soldier uniform. He's like in some like like regular clothes or whatever. And like I, I thought it was like some kind of 
person helping, like, what was his name? Adrian, not Adrian Smirnoff. Uh, this is for the guy that plays that or whatever. So, I don't know, the guy helping him or whatever, like, get down or whatever, so yeah, or like, I don't know. Uh, until I saw the, the middle hand or whatever. We also see, um, Chris Evans, kind of green screen, yeah, like, some kind of, like, somewhere, like, somewhere, I don't know where. Like, it's, like, it's outside, but it's, there's still a like, green screen, and like even even Captain America uniform, whatever, Captain America costume, whatever, and also um, Scarlett Johansson has a new hairstyle for the movie. Like how she, how she always has a new hairstyle, which is kind of weird. I find that weird a little bit. Like a clip of her, not clip, um, a, like a shot of her, like somewhere, like and she, and she like smile, or whatever. I don't know. She has that hair. The other good stuff was, um, Toy Story 4 was revealed. Yeah, the original Pritzker movie that started it all. I wonder if it's like kind of like a, like a reboot, kind of, because kind of, it has that little girl now. I hope not. Like, I hope it has like more, like, oh, mm, probably, it's still probably more target more younger audiences, how the first Toy Story did it for us. Like, you know how the third one was more like for us older fans so it's probably gonna be a reboot so something, something like so like Toy Story 4 similar to a reboot but yeah most likely a reboot, reboot for it but we also got Finding Dory which seems exciting ex which seems exciting because we probably know a little bit more about how she got to the where uh, that, that how, what's the orange guy's name? I forgot his name. The orange fish. Like, he, this movie will, like, seems how Dory, how Dory came to find him. What's his name? Claire? Clarence? I forgot. It's been a long time since I've seen Finding Nemo. And this, and this is one of the most exciting ones, is Incredibles 2. I, I wonder if they're gonna be, the kids are going to be a lot more older. And I hope we see like a lot more superheroes for this, like their universe or whatever, or they can build their own cinematic universe, like how Marvel does and DC does, or DC's about to. Now, yeah, pretty exciting. Can't wait to see them like older. It's been like ten years or more. Two thousand four, right? Like, something like that. Something like that. And the most disappointing one is Cars Three. Like, this is a cat. Cars is a cash cow. It's it's to sell toys like like Power Rangers, but that's a different kind of thing. It it has more excitement to it. This cars, they're just talking cars. How they get like that in the first place? What the hell? And there are some others like that were mentioned that I didn't pay attention to, but probably not. I'm probably gonna see them anyway. I haven't seen Inside Out yet, but I'll, it's coming into DVD like soon. Like, I saw like commercials for it or whatever. I'll do a review of that and more Disney movie that came out this year probably as well. Trying to do more re reviews of movies. So that was this video today. That seems it seems exciting that how all this stuff is, all this new stuff is uh, arriving to us. Probably con also probably Constantine is probably gonna be in, in also probably Constantine is probably gonna be in Legends of Tomorrow as well probably along with Hawkman as well. This week has been exciting. So. I've been Anthony One, so please comment, like, subscribe, and have a good week. Explosion!